Okay, everybody, Jacob Stallings is here and ask away. Questions for Jake. What was that like, Jake, for third uh, walk-off in PNC Park history? Um, that was pretty cool. Um, I, I was kind of kicking myself after um, for not thanking the crowd. I mean, that was an unbelievable crowd, and um, I was kind of just looking around like in the sixth inning and – I mean, there weren't very many empty seats, if at all. So um, that was that was pretty cool, and uh, certainly one I'll remember. Jake, I know we ask you this, or ask guys this every time they hit a walk-off home run, but did you know you had that one? Because it was it was so close. No, I really didn't. Um, I know I had a chance because just you know I was down that way and uh, got it up in the air, but. I definitely did not know that I had it. Um, I didn't even really run right when I hit it. I just, I figured he was either going to catch it or it was going to be a home run. So I figured I might as well just stand there and watch and see what happened. Jacob, the only way you get to that point is Wilmer hitting that big three run shot the inning before too. Um, how how great has it been to see what he's been able to do off the bench, especially? It seems like he, he's kind of a pinch hit magician this year. Yeah, I mean, I was really bummed when uh, when he got DFA'd last time, um, not just because he's um, obviously because he played really well, but he just brings such an energy to our team every single day. And um, my dad used to always say, you're in, either an energy giver or an in energy sucker. And um, I mean, Wilmer is the epitome of an en energy giver every single day. And I was kind of giving him a hard time. Uh, today because he hit that home run yesterday. I was like, hey, be the same guy. Don't be talking a lot today just because you hit a home run yesterday. Be the same guy. And I mean, he just he brings tremendous energy and and really is invaluable to our team. Hey, Jake, asking this, you know, with the, your win Sunday before the break and then last night things get a little testy and then tonight this happens. Like, can you kind of put into words just, I don't know if swagger is the right word or confidence or emotion or, you know, kind of what you guys are going through right now, um, fighting the way you have. Well, I think to come back in, you know, a dramatic fashion like this was uh, pretty cool, you know, partly given what happened last night and, um, you know, just wanting to back John up and, um, you know, all that stuff, um, that was said afterwards, but, um, I think to, to win like that is, um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Speaking of Nagowski, what was it like to see him come through in both the eighth and ninth innings with kind of, you know, rally starters? Guy's unbelievable, man. I mean, I, you know, it's just one of those things you think it's going to stop and then he just gets two more hits the next day and the good at bats and good. At, I mean, even when he gets out, he has good at bats and, um, uh, you know, can't say enough about him either. What he's done coming in here, plays great defense. He's super competitive and um, he, he's just, you know, he's always giving you information about what he sees from the pitcher, which is great for me because just being a right-handed hitter, hitting after him. And, um, I, I really like being his teammate. And um, so it was, it was good to, to get that one for him tonight. You're not going to tell him to stop talking, are you? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. He just needs to keep doing whatever the heck he's doing every day. Jacob, when you keep doing this in the clutch, these walk-offs, I mean, you've had six of them in your career. Some guys maybe have one or two. How much confidence does that give you when you step up to the plate in that situation, knowing that you've done it multiple times now? I mean, it didn't really make me feel that much more confident trying to hit Diaz as 100, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> it was, uh, I think each situation is, is unique. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't think, I, I, I guess it doesn't make me not confident, um, but I wouldn't say that I'm going up there thinking that I'm about to hit a walk-off grand slam or anything, you know, it's just each situation is, is unique in its own way and just try to have a quality of bat and see what happens. Jake, you said you got a chance to watch the ball 
you know, kind of stand and watch the ball go. What do you remember about rounding the bases? Did you notice any of the stuff going on around you, like Joey or the study, the guys waiting at home plate or anything? I kind of saw Joey as I was going by him, but it didn't like register. And then I saw it on the replay, what he was doing. Um, I don't know. That was, that was kind of funny, but I mean, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for like season highlight videos, like teams. And um, it's like the only time I get emotional really. And I don't know why I just love seeing like teammates, like cheer with one another during big moments. And, uh, to see the dugout's reaction um, was pretty cool, just on the replay. It's like your version of one shining moment. Uh, sort of, yeah, but I like I like one team, like Fred's or my dad's team, something like that. Going off John's question real fast, earlier in the year you said, you know, Newman's the guy who still leads the team in walk-offs now. How does this work now? Is it, you know, sharing the title, peaceful transition of power? He's got six, right? Yeah. All right. So it's just even, just even Stevens. Hopefully he hits one tomorrow. Takes it back. All good for Jacob. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.